This is the College Gamers Podcast for October 24th, 24th, 2015. (laughs) Hello, everyone. I am Michael. And I'm Taft. And this is the College Gamers Podcast, and I repeat that again every time. I don't know why. Uh, Taft, how are you doing this week? I'm doing pretty good this week. I got a new game this week, so I'm excited about that. And what what game, what what released this week? Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Oh, Assassin's Creed. The game where if you played one, you played all of them. Hey, (laughs) don't make me hit you. Like... At one point, if he keeps talking trash about Assassin's Creed, you're probably just going to hear, like, an ow, ow. Ow. That's me beating the The loud crash of a broken glass against the wall. That is me beating the ever-living poop out of Mike. Yes, yes. Well, okay, no. All right, all right. Assassin's Creed, great story. Wonderful. Has an awesome story. Game diversity kind of, like, kind of drags on. Like, I don't know. Like, you know, if you played one, you kind of get a gist of all of them. They'd add new tools and things. Yeah, yeah, but... It's also different in the way, like, the actual movements happen and stuff. I see. I mean, like, smoother character exactly. animation and, cr- and, like, movement, in, you know. Exactly, which makes a big difference. Like, going, b- I can't play Assassin's Creed, the original, anymore, now that I've played, like, Unity and Syndicate and stuff, because he just moves so slow. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, your week's been pretty good? Yeah, it's been really good. That's good. I had two more midterms this week. I had math on Wednesday and uh, I think I had biology on Friday. So nope. I got, I've been working on like four hours of sleep. Nice. Yeah. I don't have midterms. I'm a humanities major. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I got one more on Monday. But then, hey, fall break on Wednesday, right? Uh, starts, I want to say it starts Wednesday at 12. Wednesday at 12. I forgot. They gave us a half day because they're weird. Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, let's move. Actually, no. Before we move on to the news, Taft, I have a quiz for you. I'm scared. All right, I found an article by IGN saying the seven greatest weapons in Halo history. And I want to see... Okay, now looking at the screen. Okay. Can't look at the screen. I'm, I'm not looking at the screen. Okay, what do you think is the top weapon in Halo, according to IGN? Uh, just in general or what? Just in general. I mean, everybody loves the energy sword. All right. And and um survey says no looking taft. I'm not. No looking. Uh number three. Really? Yes, number three. Okay, um Battle Rifle. Battle rifle? Oh, good choice. That's that that would be that would be my first choice. Here we go. And survey says Survey says what does survey say? Survey says number two. Oh, I'm getting better. You're getting better every time. Um uh, pistol. Everybody loves the pistol. All right. And survey says, number one, ding, ding, ding. Oh. Now, they say their their favorite is the um, pistol specifically from Combat Evolved. Because that was a one-shot kill on almost anything. Yes, that was so great. But, okay, in my opinion, I think the battle rifle deserves to be number one. In my opinion, I think the energy swords deserves to be number <laughs> one. So they're, they're, all, they're all great weapons. Yeah. So... Yeah, that was a fun little thing. Um, they said the sticky grenade was number four. R- what? Sticky grenade. Um, probably one of like the coolest grenades ever invented. Yeah, awesome grenade. But I would definitely wouldn't think that it'd be like that high on the list. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's always useful. You stick someone in the face. What were the other three? Um, energy pistol was number five. Really? I hate that it gun. It sucks. I hate that gun. It just overall kind of sucks. Um, sniper rifle number six. That should have been number four. That should have been number four. No, what no, should have been number four was the Needler, which is number seven. Needler should have been number five. I like the sniper rifle more than I like the Needler. That's a good. Yeah, that's a good. Needler is pretty good. Needler is kind of the noob tube of Halo. It is because you sit there and you shoot them like six times, and then all of a sudden they blow up. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. Like it's like auto. It's like the um, auto pistol yeah. from Titanfall. It, yeah, it, <laughs> it was a. Uh, I remember back when I was younger playing with my brother. And Halo yeah. was actually the first uh, first person shooter I ever played. Same here. And uh, so I'd be playing with my brother, and my brother was really good at sniping. Yeah. And the only way I could beat him was if I got the needle, or just because <laughs> I'd just unload in that direction and it followed him. It's so great. The only thing it's not so good at is crowd control. No, because it goes to like it picks like one person, and like the entire magazine goes to them. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the news. Breaking news. All right, let's start off this week with Payday 2. Um, Developers of Payday 2 have backpedaled on their decision to uh, put microtransactions in the game 
because it pissed too many people off. Yeah. I saw an article talking about how that they said that they were, like when I was doing my research this week, uh, talking about how they said they were going to do microtransactions. And I had not seen this article yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm really glad to hear that they backpedaled <laughs> on that because that's ridiculous to say that you're not going to do something and then do something. Yeah, well, actually, it looks like two years ago, um, the um, the developers of Payday 2 said there will be, um, quote, we'll have no microtransactions otherwise. So I guess they kind of they kind of were backpedaling on themselves there. Exactly. And that's like when a developer says they're not going to do something like that, don't do something like that. Because yeah, like, I, like I've said many times before, microtransactions are like my biggest pet peeve. I hate them. Yeah, I mean, keep it keep it to the phone. Keep it to the phone. But I guess since they said it two years ago, they were probably thinking, eh, no one, no one remembers this. We can probably sneak it in. Probably, but they forget how hardcore gamers are. And we yes. remember every word that anybody ever says about our favorite games. Yes, and the internet stores everything. Um, they were planning to do, it looks like a Team Fortress kind of crate system where it, when you, uh, when you successfully do a job, you would get safes. And to open said safes, you would use drills, which are essentially keys, you oh, know. Okay. That is not a bad idea. I mean, it's a Team as Fortress. Far, as far, yeah. And so, and same as CSGO. Yeah. As far as, microtransactions go that's not a terrible idea mm. although i gotta say in csgo the most aggravating thing is when you get a case cases are not that expensive yeah it's the keys where they get you because you can win a case you can't win a key <laughs> yeah well the keys are two dollars and 49 cents that's exactly how much they were in uh CSGO. so that's that's kind of pricey but now now they they switched it so that they will drop from missions so you can you can get them for free okay cool. but you also have the option to pay for them okay now see that's a good thing like yeah i'm okay with that if you have the option for it but if yeah. you need to pay for it which is what most microtransactions are mm -hmm. then well people were complaining that it's a pay to win because these safes contain skins and mo and the things that modify and improve your weapons yeah so people who put, put more money into the game can have better weapons that's just not cool so so even even the them keeping that that payment method in still kind of keeps around that pay to win path. Yeah. yeah, I feel like if you're gonna have something like this with saves and stuff, you don't have something that's gonna make it easier for somebody to win. You have the skins and stuff like that, like yeah, small like aesthetic details. And yeah, stuff like like, like CS:GO. You were saying earlier, exactly. It's just skins. They're not like you know weapon improvements. Exactly. Yeah, and uh. I guess on the topic of PC games. All right. Uh, Halo, of all games, you wouldn't think is actually there. Uh, they've said before, Microsoft has said like that Halo, they don't want Halo on PC. But 343 has actually like been hinting that they actually want to get Halo on to, uh, onto PC. Yeah, actually, it was the Halo franchise director, Frank O'Connor himself. Now, see, the article I read just said uh, 343 representative. They don't, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have here it says uh, franchise director. There we go. That's even better. So, yeah, he's That's in charge. He, he's, he's kind of a big deal. Yeah, he's you know kind of a big deal. Kind of a, kind big, of a director of Halo. Kind of a big deal. He kind of, he kind of has nice cars in his garage, probably. I bet you I bet you he has a ghost. A ghost? What do you mean? A ghost. What's a ghost? Do you play Halo? Do I play Halo? I'm like having a stroke right now. What's a ghost? <laughs> oh, a ghost. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the the, the hover weird covenant yeah, bicycles, there, bicycle things. There we go. Oh, I guarantee you this dude has a warthog, though. Guaranteed. Dude. No, actually, I remember a while ago, I saw a real life warthog. Like someone made a, a replica of it. That's why I say I guarantee that he has it. It looks a little clunky, actually. It does. It looks top heavy. It does, but I, he probably still has one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would drive that to work every day. Every single day. Bad traffic. Just light him up with a minigun. And, and passenger seat is always minigun. Always. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's an assault rifle. Like, there, there's a battle rifle, like, in the in the glove compartment. So you can sit there on the seat and, like, aim around with it. Exactly. So, uh, what do you think about this, Mike? Like, if, do you think that they should go to PC or if they should... You as a PC gamer, mm -hmm. do you think that they should go to PC or stay at console? I think... They should go PC, as always. You know, it's... it's you would have a bigger market... If you marketed to two consoles at once. Yeah. You know? Um, 
And uh, the franchise director said that Microsoft has made a huge commitment to normalize the Windows experience across multiple platforms. So, you know, having Windows 10 on the Xbox One and on their, you know, for, not forcing it, but like, you know, really pushing it on PCs. So, you know, it kind of makes sense, you know, that if they're, I get, I don't know how well that, that concept he, you know, he's talking about would apply to video games. Now, what I'm interested in, say they do bring it to PC, you know, which is cool. The first two Halos are on PC. Yeah. Would, so you had the first two and you would have five. If they brought five to PC, do you think there'd be a, a push to bring the rest of them to PC? There would be a push by the community, but there would not, it would not happen. Well, why would it not happen? I just cannot see it happening. The other ones weren't made and for, for PC and it would just be too much work. I feel like they would probably just focus, they want to focus more on just Halo 6 or something. I can see that. I mean, they, they, they're having some sort of, uh, what's that, what's that like revival thing Xbox One is doing? Uh, backwards compat, backwards compatibility. Backwards compatibility, yeah. Um, that probably doesn't relate to PCs, but Not I'm, even close. I'm sure they could have some sort of subdivision, bring some people in. You know, maybe, but that's not that's not three four three that would be that's doing that. That's Microsoft. Microsoft isn't making like they're funding it, but they're not the teams working on it. So if it, there were a push for Halo on a PC, three four three would have to use the resources. That's true. You know what? You know what I see? I if they do bring them all, they're going to release them in some sort of like Master Chief PC version. It's gonna be like a hundred and twenty dollars, and it's gonna be the Master Chief collection on PC. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, so but wait, real quick, just do you think that uh they would be too like don't you think that'd be kind of if they released it to PC, it'd be like a middle finger to PlayStation, like <laughs> just straight up like f you guys, like well, uh, I yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, they've Halo has never really gone to PlayStation, but then again, back when it was on play, uh, um, back when it was on PC, yeah, Xbox was nothing. That's true. They like the original Xbox. I don't think they ever sold one for profit. That's true. So they're actually now doing well with Xbox. So and they're actually mm-hmm. a contender. They are officially PlayStation's rival. This PlayStation is true. did not have a rival back then. Xbox tried to be it and succeeded at becoming it, but at the time was not. So now it's just like f <laughs> you guys. Like just yeah. I, I'd I would be like as PlayStation. I would be personally offended. Like. <laughs> Oh man! One more thing. Well, they would have they would have to support multiplayer on PC. So that's like servers, and you know you have to probably take care of some uh, back you know back room stuff. I mean, not back room, but like you know the stuff you know a bunch of hardware. Not maybe hardware, but <laughs> what am I this, trying to this, say? This, but not this. That, this, but, but not, not this. that. <laughs> words. What are words? <laughs> But like you know, they would have to worry about like servers and having to do just a that. lot of work. Yeah, I mean, porting it might be easy, but supporting it on PC might be a bit more of a challenge. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. But I'd be very happy. I would play, I would play Halo Five if it came to PC, just okay. as a thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, I could understand. I mean, I think it'd be a good idea, but at the same time, I can see the bad parts. So, um, okay, keep going on with the topic of shooters, I guess. Real quick, talking about uh. Fallout. I just want to bring this up because I saw, thought this was really interesting. Okay. Fallout's getting their own beer. All right. Yep. Interesting. Yeah. It's, I it's, wonder it's, what it, the flavor will be. It's beer. Is it's, it suns? Is, it, it are is, they calling it Sunset Sarsaparilla? Sarsaparilla's root beer. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I would drink a Sunset Sarsaparilla. I would, I would, and I'd drink a Nuka Cola. But <laughs> no, uh, they say they. It's just a beer. That's be like has a fallout like it's named like Fallout beer. Like, okay, so it just has their name slapped on it. Exactly, like it's just a advertising ploy to uh kind of like appeal to like older gamers, I guess, because like they say like for gamers mostly above the drinking age, gaming to them is like getting together to watch a football game. Like you you're hanging out with friends doing it and stuff like that. You're not especially just when you're playing Madden. Exactly. <laughs> But yeah, so it's like hanging out with friends. It's it's an event for them, like going to the movies or something. You're not doing it by yourself most of the time. Yeah, they obviously haven't met us. <laughs> um, PC gamers mostly. Yeah, no, but uh, so they were like, you know what? Why don't we make a beer? It's just a straight advertising ploy. I like mean, it's it's there's nothing behind it. Like I mean, it's... everything else Fallout Four related is is selling like crazy. Yeah, so might as well add a little <laughs> bit of beer. Like <laughs> no, but uh, might as well make some money. Apparently, it's supposed to be pretty good, actually. Really? Like, do we know who's 
brewing said beer? Uh, yes, but it's no one like of importance. Like, okay. it's, not, it's not like a, it's not like Heineken or Budweiser or anything like it's that. It's not a big name. No. It's some small guy in his basement. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Okay, but the next big story that I have, like, kind of like the Halo one, was uh, got to bring up Star Wars. Star Wars. Well, actually, hey, you wanna uh, you wanna move, before we move on from Fallout, you wanna talk about Fallout 4's uh current like good sale, goods sales and like items. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> I mean, we're on Fallout. Might I as mean, well. No, I'm just laughing at the way you phrased that. They're goods, goods, goods items, goods. goods. Get it, goods. Oh, get it, gosh. got it, good. Talking, talking like an old timer today. Um, so Bethesda is have this week kind of did this uh, week long. Um, I, I think it's still going right now, but you can buy all sorts of Fallout Four memorabilia and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, I saw articles everywhere about how they opened up sales for the Pit Boy again this week, and it sold out in. Again, like a fraction of a second. Every time they're going to release it, it's going to sell out because it's that's a really cool idea. Oh, that's it's so awesome. Um, they they have all sorts of cool things like a um a Fallout Fallout um uh, uh blah, blah, Fallout Boy um Xbox controller. Yeah, that looks really cool. Yeah, that's a really nice blue actually. Yeah, it's very pretty blue and would mixes you, with the yellow. Would you get this Taft? Uh, yeah, I would. It is limited edition. Only 5,000 will be available. Oh, man. I know, right? Th- that's already gone. I know, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, who knows? There's a Vault Tech watch that actually looks pretty sweet. Really? Instead of having like from like 12 to 12, it has from 0 to 24 on it. No, I think it just goes from like 24 in a circle. Really? It has like all 24 hours on it. It looked pretty sweet. That actually. is, that's actually a really cool idea. Yeah. So that's, they're only going to be like 1,500 of those available. There's a lot of limited, um, Limited uh, availability kind of stuff. Um, necklaces. Uh, actually, there is a messenger bag, a Vault Tech messenger bag that I kind of really want. You would want something like that, Mike. I love oh, messenger wait, bags. Wait, they have a Monopoly? Yeah. Unfortunately, it's sold out. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Why you do this to me? <laughs> yeah, Fallout Monopoly. I mean, oh. you knew that was coming. Yeah, but come on. <laughs> yep, nope, sorry. For those of you out there who don't know, Monopoly is my board game. I love that game. But yeah. Monopoly oh, wait, real quick, on the topic friend. of controllers, just just, just jog my memory real quick. Because remember how last week I was asking you when the uh, Moon Dust controller at uh, yeah. GameStop? It's out. It's out? It's out now. Do we kn- when did it release? I, th- I think it's been out for a week. It's been out for a week? Yeah. Have you gotten it yet? No. No? Because I spent all my money on Assassin's Creed. Uh, understandable. I'd rather get a game than Exactly. Controller. I'd rather get a game than controller, but... Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, now would you like to move on? So whatever you were talking about, it doesn't matter. Fallout. You know what? You, I, I, I want to, but you know, you just offended me by cutting on. Oh, we're yeah. good. Yeah, we'll move on to it. <laughs> Taff, Taff. Why, why are you leaving, Taff? <laughs> I'm done with this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. So, Star Wars just... Uh, released some pictures of like the the hero ships. That's not something we really talk about much. Is the you, when you're actually like doing like the like the flying missions and stuff. Yeah, you can actually play as like the Millennium Falcon. So how does how would that work? So would you have to be like say Han Solo on the ground and pick up a coin or token that says you can fly? I think um I think what it's gonna be is the uh there are game modes. If I'm correct, their game because there's so many, I lose track. Uh, their game modes where it's solely flying. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah, and so you're just gonna pick up a hero token there. Okay, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, and so uh, they released that. I mean, they showed some pictures of uh, the Millennium Falcon, which looks gorgeous. And then uh, Slave One, Slave One, Slave One. That one looks really cool. Uh, for those of you who don't know, because you're not Star Wars fans, uh, Slave One is Boba Fett slash Jango Fett's. Uh, ship. Yeah. Oh, hey, did you ever play uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron? No. Dude, that was the best flying game ever because you you can fly so many different type of ships. Really? Slave One, Millennium. I think you can fly the Millennium Falcon. Probably. You could fly um Episode Two, the Jedi Starfighter, the Triangle one. Oh, what? That was one of my favorites. Yeah, that one's cool. Dude, that game was sweet. Just a little uh side note there. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, another thing that they did this week. Because Star Wars is like not going to be outdone any week ever. 
to like the end of time. We should just start a Star Wars segment. We might as well at this point because like they're releasing something that's slight importance every and, week. And then after that, we'll replace it with Fallout segments. We totally should. Yes. Uh, but uh, so they released uh three like a confirmed three new heroes. Yeah. Um, or at least confirmed what they did. Like Leia and Han, we already expected them to be there, but it's nice to have it confirmed, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but also the Emperor. So the Emperor, Emperor I was Emperor I, Palpatine, aka Darth Sidious, shall I was, be a hero. I was not expecting that. Yeah, please I, tell me he has a walker. That'd be great, but <laughs> no. Um, but uh, each one of them has like their own like little individual in, uh abilities. Yeah. Uh, Leia is probably super OP. Probably. Why? Why is that? Uh, because she she doesn't really have like any specific weapon, which is kind of nice. Like it, she doesn't have a favorite weapon. Okay. But uh, if you notice in the movies, every single time she shoots somebody, they die. She's a she's she's an excellent one shot shot. Like okay. every time, she always one shots troopers. <laughs> so she has an ability. Okay. Called Troopers Bane. Oh no! Is, is it is it aimbot? And it, what it says is uh. The exact quote I got from the article was, uh, she will have the unique offensive ability called Trooper Bane. Uh, it reflects her uh, uh, rather unusual talent to single shot stormtroopers in the original trilogy. Whoa. So she's probably just going to like shoot people and just kill them instantly. That sounds like, sounds like an aimbot. They gave, they gave her aimbot. Basically. That uh, sounds super sweet. Someone had to go and watch those movies. And noticed that she one shot everyone. You didn't notice that. I never noticed that. Come on, dude. Is that is that a commonly known fact? I mean, I knew it. Oh, uh, okay. Because like you're sitting there watching like and Han sitting there like pow 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 pow. That's true. And then Leia's like pew. Well, I mean, okay. To be, to be fair, everyone's an impressive shot compared to stormtroopers. So uh, yeah, you know, that's don't even get me started on that <laughs> one. I got a whole theory behind that. Uh, but, uh, that they actually can't see through their helmets. No, it's the fact that, uh, Darth Vader knew that that was his son and his daughter. So he told them not to shoot, not to kill them. I see. Okay. Well, yeah. This, this but, is a rabbit hole. Yeah. Safer than yeah. Day. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't get me started. Uh, but she also has the, uh, she's a very support type class. Yeah. And, uh, so any people that, uh, any players that spawn close to her get an upgrade and they become Alderan honor guards. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, so I feel like it didn't say anything about them, but I'm assuming they probably like better health, better guns. Yeah. So yeah, that'll be nice. Uh, Han is is Han. Han's on. I mean, he's he has an awesome ability, just being awesome. Oh, uh, he has this thing called Lucky Shot, which I'm assuming is oh. closer to Aimbot. Oh, dude, I, I was hoping he would he would have a an ability called Han Shot first. Like they should have. Where whenever someone shoots at him. The gang glitches and he shoots first and kills them. Yeah, that 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 should, that should be his ability right there. Oh uh, yeah, that and he has a charging attack. A charging attack. Like he like can he, he can either run towards you and like through you or run away or. That's yeah. odd. Yeah, it's weird. Um, I would think that he they would give that to more melee heroes. You would think, but I guess I mean it happened like in the movie, so they're just trying to go off like what happens in the movie and stuff. I see. But uh, okay, then the emperor. The Emperor is a straight offensive character, just okay. wreck shop character. Okay, I'm I'm sensing some force lightning in in the future. Uh, his powers include force lightning and the more powerful area effect ability, chain lightning. Oh, so I'm just he expecting, sounds he sounds like a shaman from World of Warcraft. Exactly. Like what I'm picturing is like him like for like chain lightning, not chain lightning, just regular lightning, just like one handing like straight at the person and shocking him like that. Yeah. Or for like chain lightning, like I just like like to picture him like. Both hands up in the air, just like conjuring a storm, or or like charging it like a, a kamehameha. That that'd be cool, but be I, cool. I think I think the storm, like conjuring a storm in the air, is kind of cool. That'd be cool, dude. That's gonna wreck shop in um in like con- like um confined to maps. Yeah, that's gonna wreck shop. But also, he also has the uh this ability um called Imperial Resources. Yeah, uh, it's a, kind of a support ability, which is kind of weird for him. He can distribute power ups to his fellow Imperials. That's pretty cool. And he can boost the health of other villains. Nice. So like if Vader's on the field, I guess. Can you get two heroes at once? I guess that's what the uh, that's what they're implying. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, probably in like certain there probably maps where it's just like straight heroes. Yes, yeah, so the thing is, do we know if there's a heroes versus heroes game mode? I, I, there probably will be. I think they're saving that one for last. That sounds like a lot of fun. That would be so fun. Um. But yeah, so that's that's it for the Star Wars news. 
That's a lot of cool stuff. Oh, and the um, the hero models. Uh, I, I was looking at the pictures, and I thought that, like, Leia looks exactly the same. Spot, Spot on. on. It looks, she like, the, the all the characters' models look pretty they great. They do, but-, but she was just, like, I thought it was the actress. <laughs> I really did. Yeah, Leia. Leia is the best. Han looks great. Han looks Han looks a li- like doesn't have that chiseled chin that that uh, Harrison Ford has. Yeah, to. And I think Leia's the the lighting on Leia is just this like perfect. Yeah, and then Sidious. I mean, you, he's got a wrinkle face. Like he was a mask, so I mean, it's obviously gonna look a lot like him. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. And um, do we know if we can play as Chewbacca in this one? They haven't confirmed that one yet, but I would imagine you could. I'd be quite angry if you couldn't. Yeah, because I think in the second one you can play as Chewbacca, right? Uh, correct. If you play uh Kashyyyk, Kish- 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 like the one of the greatest maps ever, He's it one of yes, <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. <laughs> this is true. This is true. No, but uh, yeah. If you if you played like during like the Clone Wars, you played as Yoda, and if you played during the Imperial Civil War, you played as uh Chewie. That's true. And I loved for that game. Um, when you played the Clone Wars, they actually revert back to the original Episode Two clones. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. It, it is really cool. That was always cool. All right. Let's go to that, that big news story we've been saying. All up right. The here end. we go. Uh, this, this just in. I'm getting this handed to me right now. Um, Taff, you want to take over? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, guys, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do, Mike. I'm getting, I'm getting this in my ear right now. The little man in my ear is talking to me. Um, One Life has been is now in Steam Green Lights. One Life is a multiplayer FPS where if you die... You're dead. You're you're kicked out the game. You are dead. Like no, like they come and find you in real life and put a bullet. In oh, oh, no, not really. No, don't, don't be no, scared. No, but your no, but your Steam account becomes banned from the game, which is horrible. I hate that idea, but I love that idea. But I mean, it, I guess it really makes you, you know, have some respect for the game and what you do in the game. Yeah, but luckily. You uh like you don't necessarily have to die if you get killed. You know what I'm saying? Like no, you uh like the player who killed you, quote unquote. Yeah. Uh, he uh he or she gets to decide your fate. Do you not get if he if they end you? That guy's a jerk. No, like they what they do? Yeah, if they kill you, like you you just piss them off. Like <laughs> uh no, but uh they can either decide to spare you, do nothing, absolutely nothing, just let you go. Yeah. They can capture you. And, and and they said when they capture you, they can work it off. Yeah, but but they they have yet to emphasize what exactly that means. It's probably like you're like their little like puppet for a while. Like you have to do what they tell you to do. Like give them quests or something. Exactly. Yeah, I see. And then or they can kill you. Yeah, they can be a horrible person and kill you. Actually, Taft, you forgot the fourth option, which is they can urinate on you. That was not what I was going to say <laughs> next. <laughs> yep. Yes, you can. You can urinate. On people. Uh, yep, you straight up just whip it out and sh- all over them. Yep, that's that's great. That's I that's hope. gonna be so common. <laughs> yeah. I really want you to know that. Like, you know how often you'd be walking around and you see a dead body or some or somebody hurt. Yeah, and just some dude peeing. Dude, on him. that would suck if you're shot and alive. And they just like just peeing all over your face. Like, all over. No, on the wound. Oh, like, you know that's he- gonna get infected. No, it's not actually. Pee is ster- sterile. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I saw, actually, I read an article the other day where they can't, like, they're not exactly sure because some people, really, some people actually have, you actually have bacteria in your bladder. Since when? Like, they, so they, they, they've always, Bear Grylls has always told me that pee was sterile. Yeah, but Bear Grylls also humped a mountain, okay? Hey, Bear Grylls is Bear Grylls, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so Taft. Okay. So this, this game is on sale for $10 on Steam. Which is a good price for a game where you could die and never be able to play again. No, because, like, you could die in the first two minutes. Okay, here's what I think they're going to do. Okay. Because I don't think that they're going to let somebody die that quickly. So what I think they're going to do is they're going to, like, set you up in a safe zone to where you can learn the mechanics and stuff like that. And then later, after you've been playing for probably, like, a good, like, 30 minutes. Yeah. At that point, they're going to be like, okay, now you have the option to go to an area where you can get killed. Yes. I think it's going to have like safe zones and that makes and, sense. and hot zones. That way you can actually do stuff without getting killed, you know? Yeah. That 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 makes sense. You know, that would suck to die in the first 5 minutes. But I mean like, you know, you pay you pay $10 for a game. You expect to play a lot of it. Yeah. And I think a lot of people I mean, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people who are just going to be total jerks and kill you. 
Yeah. But I think a lot of people are going to respect the fact that you paid $10 for this game and not <laughs> going to kill you, you know? No, I think a lot more people are just going to kill you. And that's horrible. People are mean. <laughs> People are mean over the internet. Like, if I were playing this game, I would, pr- unless some dude was sitting there talking just trash about my mom. Yeah. And then, like, killed me, spared me, and then urinated on me. <laughs> that's the only way that I would kill him. Then, then, Venge, Taft would be in, like a revenge movie. Yeah. Or, hey, actually, no, I take that back. If somebody killed me and then captured me, and the only way that I could get out of it was to kill them, they're dead. They're, yeah, like, they're gone. <laughs> they're done. They're gone. But, so, would you get this Taft? Uh, no. No, no, because I would have so horrible lag with my computer. And you know, I would get this, and I think I'd just be stressed all the time. Like I would get it if I had a better computer to play it on. Yeah, but not with what? Not well, with the Mac. What, what computer do you have? I have a MacBook you, Air. What was that? Mac. A Mac. Mac. I'm sorry. I I think you're saying trash over and over again. No, I'm saying Macintosh. <laughs> I'm saying a good laptop, very nice, expensive laptop. Yeah, but it's a Mac. Yeah, it's Macintosh. How good? How good can a Mac be? Pretty freaking good. Pretty freaking good. I, I bet you right now, if I hit it with, if I hit my Mac, <laughs> if like I use my Mac as a bat to hit your computer, yours would break before mine did. This is true, but mine performs better. Yeah, but, but still, I think so. no, I've <laughs> always, I've always liked how uh, Macs have have metal frames. Yeah. Okay, back to topic. So one yes. life. <laughs> yes, one life. Um, it the graphics don't look anything special. Like other other than the fact that if you die, you die. This game doesn't look anything too unique. I mean, it's a, it's in a post-apocalyptic. Been there, done that, you know. If I want to play post-apocalyptic, I'm gonna get Halo. I mean, not Halo. Uh, Fallout right. Four. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, so the uh, idea, but the, it's just the novelty of the idea. If you die, you die. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it tr- it gives you that respect that you don't have in like Call of Duty. This game is so gonna put the Steam refund policy on like it to the test to the test like it's just like every day yeah yeah i mean i mean like what you what you gonna do you gonna like play for three hours and then you die what's the uh what's the limit on the uh how many hours do you have to play before you can return i I really don't know i've never had to refund a game i want to say it's 10 10 it's like either you own it for a week Mm -hmm. or you play it for 10 hours i see so yeah I see. All right. Well, I'm probably not going to get this because it would just give me bad pl- blood pressure. <laughs> I, just, I would be paranoid all the time. I'm going to come over to record one day, Alex. I mean, not Alex. Mike sitting on the floor in the fetal position. I died. No, I died. No. <laughs> they took all my stuff and peed on me. <laughs> <laughs> Who did it, Mike? Who did it? The trolls. The trolls. <laughs> the trolls. They came in the night. <laughs> <laughs> golly mike all right well i think that's it for news this week that's all i got it was uh it was kind of a slow week this it really week. was like it started this week started off with something like it, it started off with with one life like that was one yeah. of the first things that popped up this week and then star wars and then nothing <laughs> it just, yeah like there was no like slow decrease it just died <laughs> well you know what that means Something big is coming. Yeah, that everything was focused on like tiny things for Fallout or yeah, or like tiny things for Halo. Mm. But overall, it was kind of slow. So uh, let's move on to what are you playing? What you playing? So I binge played uh, Metal Gear today. Shocker. Yep, it's awesome game. Great game. Awesome game still. Um. I I got to a very frustrating part though. Have you? How far have you gotten, Taft? I still am at that part where I talked about last week. Just because oh. I, I didn't have time to play this week, and then I got Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Yeah, so I'm doing that. Okay. Well, I have something more frustrating than that. You're you're probably gonna get pretty mad when you get to this level. Okay. Because you're in a helicopter. I'm not gonna say why. Not. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try and like spare as many details as I can. Okay. Helicopter. Said helicopter crashes. And nope. At said airport. At some unknown airport. There is an airport in Africa. Yeah, it's the only airport in the game. Yeah. So, <laughs> and um, guess what you're surrounded by? Uh, the skull people. Skull, yeah. Yep. Skulls. And you can't run. What? You have to fight them. Why? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> you know what I did? Ran? <laughs> no. I airdropped a tank. There you go. Hopped in said tank and kicked butt. There you go. That's what you, that, that's my boy Mike. <laughs> High five. Yeah, I they got, I got a. I got a minigun. After they destroyed my tank, I hid in the building. They destroyed your tank? They, yeah, they destroyed your tank what? pretty no! easily. No! <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they do it, but it was pretty frustrating. I died good four times. Oh, God, I hate those guys. Changing layouts and... 
Yeah. I hate, I hate those guys. No, these guys are worse because they throw stuff at you and well, you'll get there. No. We'll, we'll, we'll hear about it in an episode or two. No. <laughs> but it's pretty bad. Have you gotten the legendary gunsmith yet? Like I said, I haven't played since last week. Oh, I see. But it's still, still a great game. Graphics are great. The story, um, I finished chapter one today and the, like chapter one ends and I'm pretty sure I finished the game. Like, Creds are rolling. I was like, man, I'm going to get on the show today. I'm going to be like, I beat Metal Gear and I still have 70% left. And no, it's just chapter two started. I was like, wait, what? That's chapter. How many chapters are there? I really don't know, but this first chapter took me almost 40 hours. Yeah. So a long time. (laughs) So, and, um, I haven't played any of the levels in chapter two, but three of my missions, like two of the three missions I have right now, are actually older missions, but at, like h- higher difficulty. Okay. So like you can't bring your buddy along with you, or you you have no air support. So I'm hoping they don't recycle too many missions because they're boring when people recycle missions. Like I like to see more, you know, story and stuff going on. But I, I'll I'll come back next week and see if chapter three is started or not. Yeah. Okay. So is that it for you? That's all you've been. So, that's really, so. I mean, other than um, a little bit of Heroes of the Storm, but that's really going on right now. Has but Heroes of the Storm done their Halloween thing yet? That starts this this coming week, I believe. Okay. But yeah. So, what have I been playing this week? Oh, Taft, I believe you've been playing Assassin's Creed, you said? Yeah, maybe. I don't, I no, can't. wait, I think you said Assassin's Greed, or was it was it Assassin's Bleed? I don't remember. What, what Would you like to tell us? You done? <laughs> Um, so, uh, no, I actually, actually, that's not the only thing I played this week concerning it only came out Thursday. Uh, I actually had a little bit of time and I didn't want to play Metal Gear because I wanted to do that mission and that mission was going to take me too long. So I was like, I'm just going to mess around with some destiny. All right. All right. Okay. So that last update they did, did a lot. Yeah. I heard it was a really big update. It did a lot. So you would like to expand on that? Um, I was able to level up four levels. That's is that quick for Destiny? In one hour. Oh wait, wow, that's fast for any game actually. Yeah, just like for like the um, I was originally level one, but I mean, not level one, twenty one. I'm sorry. Okay, all right. 21. I was about to say I thought 21. you were higher level than twenty one, and uh, so now I'm level twenty five because straight because of like the new up uh like leveling system they did with the light, like your weapons and stuff contribute to your light. Yeah, because I had some pretty decent weapons. Yeah, and so they all, all gave me light, but it's really weird now because. They had a lot of like the from like Taken King and the Dark Below and just the other DLCs. Mm. They had a lot of armor upgrades and stuff. Yeah, or different types of armor that are common, that are better than my legendary stuff. Uh, not my legendary, yeah, legendary, not exotic. I'm thinking exotic. I see. So like I'll have like I had like a legendary uh, boots, and then I got a common boots. I was like, okay, they're probably not. They're probably not anything. They were I actually, don't need this trash. Exactly. I was like, I don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and spend it. And I look mm-hmm. at it. It's 10 points higher. 10 points of like armor or what? 10 points of armor higher. Nice. I was like, okay, I do need this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> No, no. WoW goes through the same cycle. Like Every year they release an expansion, right? Mm-hmm. So like throughout the year, you're getting all this good gear. And by the, about, about by the end of the expansion, you're like running the final raid and getting like, you know, really high level gear and stuff. The next expansion comes out, and you know the first quest you get in the next expansion, you're replacing things. Yeah. So you know, I think I think all RPGs that have expansions, or you know, taking King for example, are going to go through this process. It's a good idea. Yeah. But uh, so that happened. But yeah, they did a lot. Like I was walking, I was like, I they like must have like added new areas or something because mm-hmm. like I was walking around, I was like, I don't recognize this, I don't recognize that. <laughs> did you uh, did you get any of the dances? Because I heard you get free dances. You do, right? but uh, I didn't get any because. I'm stingy. <laughs> I see. You're saving up your exactly. What's yeah. your what's the space points they use? Uh, silver. Silver. Oh yes, silver. But yeah. So that. Uh. But then I played Assassin's Creed and it was fun. How is it? This uh, is the one set in London. Yes. The world is really cool. Like the first level you get is actually a, like it's a lot of machines and stuff. Yeah. You're in a factory. It's actually really interesting. I I'm gonna I foresee some steampunk somewhere in this game. Um. I mean, yeah, of course, probably. Um, I just got, uh, the zip line thing. That's lo- that's useful. It's a z- it's a zip. Whoa! Like you shoot like a rope out from your wrist or something. Yeah. Uh, okay. So Spider Man powers. Yeah. It's a zip line that you can actually. Like, 
it's a zipline slash like r- repelling device. Yeah. It's like you can ch- or grappling hook. Like you can shoot something in the air and it'll pull you up, or you can do a zipline and yeah go across the zipline. But uh, so that's really useful. That sounds really nice. Yeah. Um. But I finally got like the Kakari. What's the Kakari? It's a knife. It's one. Of, it's one of the weapons that you get. All right. And you don't start off with it. You start off with a. Uh, uh, Jacob has the brass knuckles. Yeah. And Evie has the uh, cane sword. So okay. are they? Are they not assassins yet? No, they are. They start off as assassins, which is new. Which is the only other one that started off as an assassin was a. Uh, what's what's the name? Uh, the first one. Yeah. Ed, uh, not Ezio. Altair. He's yeah. the only other one that started off. So as they don't assassin. have the wrist knives yet. No, they do. Oh, they do. They okay. do. That's they start off with that. That's his but default, like, though. Yeah. That. that is an assassin weapon. So. Okay. Um, but yeah, so they have that. But I was looking through the weapons. Yeah. Some of those Kakaris look so tight, dude. What What is a Kakari? Okay, so it's a blade, normal knife handle or whatever. It goes up, directly up from the handle. And it takes about a 60 degree angle to, uh, like, take to like either side. Okay. Depending on how you're holding it, and then it comes up, uh, comes up to a point. Okay. And then it kind of like does like a circle down to that, uh, like a curve down to that edge, like where they just made the angle at. Mm-hmm. And then it goes back down. It's and it's bladed throughout that entire. It's used a lot for like cutting stuff because okay. that angle right there allows it re- like nice slicing power. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's really cool. Like that's, a lot of them like looked really awesome. The cane swords were really awesome. And might I say. The first kill I got with Evie yeah. was brutal, dude. Brutal. I was expecting <laughs> Jacob to be the brutal one. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, what? What happened? Okay, she like I was like the cane. Like you use it to like beat up somebody and like you kill them with like the fi- well you finally pull it out at the end to kill them. Yeah. Okay. Well, what she did. Well, they also have like a scythe that they can use on the top of it. Okay. And so like what I was just sitting there beating them up. With the normal cane, and then all of a sudden she pulls it out, stabs a dude like three times. Oh. Then like sticks it back in and pulls out the scythe and just starts swinging at the dude with the scythe. Oh. I was Holy just like, cow. I was like, what's going on? No, calm down. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> like, and then all, all Jacob, uh, not Jacob, or is it Jacob? Yeah, it's Jacob Fry. Um, all he does is like just punch people. <laughs> Holy cow! She sounds murderous. Yeah, it was intense. But like, I haven't been able to repeat that one. All the other ones have been been pretty pretty blatant. Like, just like stab him once and you're done. That but sounds really gruesome. That yeah, that one was like I was like, oh no. <laughs> sounds like some anger management issues. Yeah, she was not having a good day that day. <laughs> well, it sounds like a fun game, and I'm excited to hear uh, next week how it's going for you. Yeah, I'm excited to go back home and play. Well, who's kind of the main bad guy? What's what's the storyline for this game? Um, so without giving away any spoilers, because I already have a few that I can spoil. Um, you're the Fry Twins. You go to London. All right. Uh, meet up with a guy who's a fellow assassin, and uh, you're trying to save London from the Templars. That's it. You're just focusing on London because that's kind of the general. Yeah, because they they say whoever who uh. Whoever so controls London controls the world. Yeah. That's what they're saying. It's not true. Um, <laughs> America. I've been, to, I've been to London. Not true. Um, <laughs> Nowadays. But yeah. back in the day. Back during the Industrial Revolution, it maybe. Was, it was quite the spot to hang out. Yeah. Um, But you're trying to save, and there's the, I cannot remember the... um. It's like Crawford or something like that. That's the main bad guy. It sounds like a bad guy. It's it a bad does. guy name. It does. He's the bad guy, and you're trying to stop him. It's it's the same yeah. same general story. He sounds like an evil scientist, Crawford, Doctor Crawford. Speaking of which, I already can't. I already ran into an evil scientist. Oh well, that's fantastic. It's like the first, per- the second person you assassinate is an evil scientist. Oh, you don't get to keep him? No, that's sad. Yeah, but uh, pieces of Eden are a big deal in this one. Really? Yeah, they've they've been like very minor parts. Like this is what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, you're still looking for him, but you, I, I've already seen one. The, oh really? Yeah, I've already seen one in this first mission. That's good. Yeah. So, did they play a big part in Black Flag? N- no. 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 Uh, what? Ca- mm. <laughs> uh, the big the big deal in Black Flag was the sage. What's the sage? The sage. Okay, you know how there's the aliens, like the people that came before. Yeah. Well, the sage is somebody who is like 
one of those reincarnated. Okay. So um, there's like Juno. Yeah. Her lover reincarnated is the sage. I see. And so like, yeah, it was a big deal for him to like, because there's this, not a piece of Eden, but like an, a four, not a foreigner, like a people who came before yeah. the temple that allows you to like see everybody on earth. Oh, oh, I remember that. And you had to use his blood to get in. I remember that now. Okay. They're like, they're like spread all over the world. Yeah. Okay. I remember yeah. that now. All right. Making sense. Cool. Yeah. All right. But you liking it so far? Yeah. I'm liking it so far. The, the, the game? mechanics are good. Graphics? How are the graphics? Oh, uh, decent, actually. They're decent. Yeah. They're actually pretty good for Assassin's Creed graphics. How the physics? Cape all mice and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Evie's got a cape and it moves pretty capey. Capey? That's uh, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so and I have yet to experience a glitch where I fell through the world. That's nice. Yeah, I experienced one of those playing uh, New Vegas one time. I thought that I, yeah, I've, I've <laughs> experienced that one too. Um, I thought at one point I was gonna fall through because I got caught between a pair like a pile of wood and yeah. a wall. Like I just couldn't move. That's weird. But then I was like, I just pushed A, and I ran over the wood. I was like, I didn't fall through the world. Today's a good day. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. That's always nice. It's always nice, especially all in right. Assassin's Creed game. That's always nice. So, yeah, that's that's exciting. That's it. Nah, that's all I've been doing. I think that's it for this week, then. Woo! All right. That was that was a pretty good show. That was. That was a good one. The good one. Uh, you can contact said show with the email collegegamersshow at gmail.com. Do it. Uh, that's two S's in a row. You know, college gamers show. So little clarification um you can follow me mike on twitter uh with the handle um at blue cows with a z b-l-u-e-c-o-w-z taff has uh said twitter as well i do all three of my followers and two of them i'm pretty sure bots <laughs> um yay bots and you're the other one oh <laughs> <laughs> it is taff faust eight is it eight what sandwich no just eight as in the number eight i see all right the letter eight I got you. That sounds like a lot of Twitter puns you make right there. This has like Twitter like sandwich, broccoli, cheese. I thought about that I, the other day. I was eating some cheese sticks and I was, yeah. like, I was like, "Oh, dude, cheese out. sticks." I was thinking about at Taff House eight cheese sticks. <laughs> like, <laughs> Actually, my girlfriend's dad. I don't know if I mentioned this before. My girlfriend's dad, his Twitter handle is Brian Arounds. Yeah. So when people follow him, they can say, "I'm following Brian Arounds." That's awesome. It was. It's probably the best that's, thing that's, ever that's pretty awesome all right well good show uh thanks you everyone thanks you thank you everyone for listening we always appreciate it always appreciate it and uh that's that's a wrap we're out of here bye-bye later blue cow radio <laughs>